Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about the very first episode of The Book of Boba Fett, which just dropped today. This is going to be my spoiler review, so if you haven't seen the episode yet, go and see the episode first, and then we can talk about it after. Please come back and talk about it. I'm looking forward to what other people are thinking. Uh, so tell me your thoughts and theories in the comment section below if you've seen it already. And uh, let's get right into this. What did I think of the first episode of the Book of Boba Fett? I'm going to say I thought the first episode was pretty good so far. So far, so good. This is the first episode. They're giving us a taste of what this series is going to be. We still don't know. Too, I, I feel that I don't know too much yet where this is going. We do know that Boba is back and he wants to, you know, reorganize Jabba's crime organization. He Instead of giving fear to people, and we hear this in the trailer as well, instead of spreading fear to people, he wants to show respect to those that uh, he brings towards him. You know, so, um, and we kind of see that with the, the two, I forgot what the creatures' names are, uh, the, the pig creatures, the, uh, the Gomerians, I think they're called. Um, we see Boba, you know, it's recommended to him that he should execute them to show, you know, how powerful he can be and all that. And, and Fennec Shan, uh, played by Ming-Na Wen, she returns also by his side and offers him some advice as well. Like, hey, this is how they did it. But Boba wants to take a different approach. And I like that. I like seeing Boba not being a black villain that, you know, was kind of painted to us in the original trilogy a long time ago, right? Boba was just there to capture Han and that's it. So you think right away, okay, this guy's a bad guy. Uh, and then even in Attack of the Clones, you see more of the bad side of both Jango and Boba. And I know there's people that read the books and comics and the, uh, so forth. I'm not one of those people. That's why for me, I didn't get the idea of Boba Fett, why lots of people liked the character. My brother... Uh, really like the character of Boba Fett, but I still didn't get it until the Mandalorian showed me. Oh, okay, this guy is a guy, a, someone with honor, and uh, he's a badass at the same time. So now I, I see that continuing on through this series, and I'm I'm liking all that. Um, we also get, I think the majority of this episode was mostly flashback. It felt like because the beginning starts with us flashing back to the past. Not only in Attack of the Clones, where we see young Boba Fett again, played by uh, Daniel Logan. Uh, they show that clip from Attack of the Clones after Jango dies and he picks up his helmet. But then also we see him um, after the Sarlacc pit, after he fell in the Sarlacc pit in Return of the Jedi. Uh, <laughs> so to see him come out of that and to see what he's been through since... it. It looks like it takes immediately right after Return of the Jedi. Uh, that was really interesting. I I, I thought uh, him being captured. Oh, first his armor being taken away by the um, by the not the Sand People, the Jawas, and then the Sand People find him and and take him as a slave, and then showing the Sand People later on towards the end of the episode that look. I'm a badass, so <laughs> you better let me free. I just got you something that was worth your while. Um, I thought the flashback stuff was was really cool. I, I really like seeing a lot of that. Um, although I thought the second half, at first, I was thinking, okay, where are they going with this? the rest of this flashback now in the second half or in, towards the end of the episode? Because I knew the episode wasn't that long. I saw it was like 35 minutes. So I'm like thinking, and then when he battles that creature, which I'm going to call it a, uh, a Goro, the Goro monster, because it had like the four arms. Um, <laughs> I know it's probably not called that, and hardcore Star Wars fans are going to kill me for it. Uh, but look, that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, yeah, I thought it was really cool how they battled that creature and uh, brought back the head to to the camp. Um not really much more for me to add on, I think, uh, because we didn't really get too much. I'm looking forward more to the present day stuff and seeing how, uh, what the main plot line is going to evolve into. Um, 
I'm looking forward to seeing some of the, the flashbacks as well, of course. But uh, the, the present day stuff is the stuff I'm really wondering, like, okay, where are they taking us with this? Uh, with this journey and, and this story? And what are some of the surprises to come? Because, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, it was still a really good episode. I was just, um, I'm kind of sad it was just half an hour long. That, that's really what it is because I didn't feel we got much out of it because of that. But still, it's a nice start. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing more. Uh, and that's it. Did I say the title of this episode? It was called uh, Stranger in a Strange Land. That's right. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, Book of Boba Fett, Chapter 1, Stranger in a Strange Land. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good... Even though it's not that strange. I mean, we saw him on Tatooine in Return of the Jedi, but fine. Whatever. And, and then we saw him on there again for a while. Uh, but okay. Uh, I think that's it. Tell me your thoughts, guys. Tell me your theories. Where do you think we're going with this story? Because I have no idea yet. Uh, is it just gonna be about Boba Fett, like, recreating this crime organization that Jabba had left? Or... Do you think there's going to be more to this story than meets the eye? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, everybody, take care.